Welcome to Church Office Online and our tutorial on online giving for Vanco electronic donations. Now in this tutorial you'll learn how to sign up for a Vanco account and how to integrate Vanco with your church membership online program providing for a full online giving solution that is both safe and secure. Let's begin. First let's go over the four steps that are going to be required in order for you to um, start your online giving program. First you'll need to sign up for a Vanco account. Secondly, we'll share with you how to integrate Vanco with Church Office Online. Thirdly, we will check your online giving feature to make sure that donations are being processed correctly. And fourth, uh, we'd like to review uh, with you some free church resources to help you to present your online giving program to your church so that you can receive the greatest success uh, possible. Let's begin with step one. Well, getting started with Vanco is first and foremost easy. All you need to do is go to www.electronicdonations.com. Click on the Apply Online tab at the top of the page. Once you do so, you'll be directed to another page which will begin to uh, ask you information that's necessary to process your uh, application uh, to Vanco for online services. I would encourage you that prior to this you'll want to have certain information available to you such as the legal name of your church, uh, your federal tax ID number, uh, as well as banking, routing numbers, accounting numbers, email addresses of those that will uh, be in support role perhaps or those that will be um, responsible for the Vanco account. And so you'll want to have that information available. Fill out this um, form, follow all the instructions completely, and then once you complete this, then Vanco will email you back and um, letting you know when uh, you have uh, successfully completed the online giving application, and uh, they also will call you within two days as well to establish a good relationship uh, with your church. Uh, when you receive that email, it will carry with it uh, several pieces of important information such as uh, their, their toll-free support number and um, but it also will have three pieces of information that you'll that will be required in the next step of, of uh, integration and that is your client ID, your user ID and your password. So getting um, integrating Vanco with Church Office Online is also easy as well and that's a good thing in today's world. You'll need to first log into your church membership online program. Uh, if you don't have um, uh, an account with Church Office Online uh, for a membership program, I encourage you to go to churchofficeonline.com where you can uh, sign up for a free 60-day um, uh, service to Church Office Online uh, where you can test out uh, the program. Uh, yeah, there's also a live demo there that you can also take and we have many other features as well as uh, online giving uh, to offer your church. So you're, if you have a membership with Church Office Online, go ahead and, and, and uh, log into the program. Once you do, you'll want to go to the contributions page uh, of our program and you can uh, select that from the top menu or what we refer to as the mega menu and uh, then select uh, manage online giving. That's in the contributions uh, part of, of, of um, uh, this program. And, uh, and once you come to the page, you want to select the Vanco tab or Vanco services. And it's there uh, that you will find uh, the, the fields in which you can place those three pieces of information in. Those fields again are the client ID, the user ID, and the password. These are all necessary in order to make the integration of your Vanco account with your church office online uh, membership account. Once you enter those three pieces of information and then they are correct, go ahead and click the Save button. And now you're ready to start receiving donations. So what you want to do next is go to you uh, to the donation page that was sent to you by uh, uh, Church, uh, your um, Vanco service. They provide you minimally with one page uh, to um, um, to work with your website. That allows uh, people to go in and uh, they can log into that program as well 
and um, place a donation there um, and uh, then process a donation and it will be available for your church office online program to uh, integrate into into your online program once you've done that then you'll need to go to back to your church membership online program and uh, on that management page on management online giving page uh, that's in contributions you'll notice that down towards the bottom you have to scroll a little ways down you'll notice that there's a sync transaction history uh, for in that Banco tab and you put in the range in which uh, those donations were collected and then all you have to do is update transactions you will see a green banner that says it's been successfully and it'll tell you how many uh, transactions were uploaded to the church office online program once you do that, then you're able to go to other reports and view um, those contributions. The first and foremost place that you want to go to is your online giving history, which is in the reports part of your program. Go to the contributions under reports, and you'll see an online giving history feature there. And again, you put in a date range, and you run the report, and the report will pull in those uh, contributions that were placed in your program when you synced with your um, Vanco um, uh, online giving um, uh, solution there. So, uh, and you'll see a sample of that here. It will indicate true as to that it, uh, it, um, it, it, that an individual in your church office online program has matched up wonderfully with that. Name, address, uh, this, it tells you the source, the Vanco, also tells you the transaction ID and how much was deposited there and to what uh, area of the ch church uh, category, uh, contribution category was applied to. We have other reports throughout the program such as managed contributions. Uh, that's in the contribution section. It allows you here to view all the contributions for the particular date range that you placed in, uh, when they were made, by whom, uh, the category and the method which will include online payments as well as check and check numbers and the amounts. It is here that by clicking one of these rows that will bring up a pop-up window that allows you to edit that contribution or to delete that contribution. Uh, if it's a duplicated contribution then uh, you would want to delete one of them. If it's a um, if it's a uh, an issue where something needs to be edited and changed like a category or the amount then you are able to do that there as well and there's another report you will want to look at and that is individual contribution and contributions and this is also in reports this is these are these statements that get sent out to your church members at the end of the year or the, the first of the following year and uh, here you want to make sure that those online um, uh, donations are picked up in your individual contribution reports Finally, we want to share with you some ideas and resources for making online giving available to your church. And, and the, the first thing we want to be able to, to share with you is that you need to be as prepared as over prepared as possible. Um, in, in other words, your, your staff needs to be educated with regards to online giving. Uh, you need to have publications which speak to the security and, and the ease of online giving and making known some facts that they might not know. There's a lot of information out there that is wrong information that has been uh, passed on from different people. And so um, you want to be able to educate your people. And to do that, we've provided some great brochures and publications. Uh, we will customize a brochure, or you can customize that brochure if you want which will place your church's name there and it will provide information regarding your online giving solutions for your particular church. Uh, we also have flyers that you can place in your bulletin about electronic giving and uh, again uh, addressing some of the issues that people have or concerns that people have regarding that. We also have a church's guide to electronic giving and, and this is a PDF file which you can upload and you can share with your staff. You can make it available for people who have questions about online giving and concerns. And with all these things in place and plus a tremendous service like Vanco coupled with uh, uh, what we believe a, a world-class service like Church Office Online, we believe that um, there's, there's going to be a tremendous blessing that comes through this to your church and to your members. And so with that, we'd like to congratulate you for uh, going through this short tutorial. You're now ready to receive online donations for your church. Thank you. And again, if you have any questions, please email us at support at churchofficeonline.com. Thank you.